Hi YouTube, my name is Rachel aka I go by RJ here. I'm one of the lead designers at The Lifestyle Co. and today we are touring my home. So my husband and I bought this home about two years ago, peak COVID, really good timing. Um, we renovated pretty much the entire house within like three months, which is unheard of now. So I'm gonna take you around and kind of explain what we did. <laughs> So this is our entryway. Um, I kept it really simple, just doing a black metal entry console table, some textured plastered art. I wanted to feel welcoming and warm when you come into our home, but kept it pretty simple. So if you want to follow me, we'll go to the primary bedroom next. So welcome to our primary bedroom. Um, this house used to be a four bedroom, uh, three bath. We actually made it three bedroom, two bath. It's just my husband and I and our little dog Brady. So we didn't need the fourth bedroom, but we wanted a bigger space and a bigger primary bathroom. So we basically combined two rooms into one. So the prim old primary bathroom used to be literally right here, like probably out to here. So it was tiny, then that made the room really small. So we knocked that out and we actually moved the primary bathroom into the fourth bedroom, which we'll show you next. Um, but in here, I kept it really clean and minimalist and neutral. I want it to feel very zen and it's our place where we relax after working all week, watch TV, read. So, and this bed you may have seen in Kylie's um, YouTube video tour because it's the best, the Living Spaces Dean bed. It's like so simple and cheap and it just works in any space. So over our nightstands, we chose to go with a wall-mounted sconce. It's just a plug-in, so you don't need a hard wire or anything. Um, I read a lot, so I feel like it's really nice at night. I'll turn this light on. Um, we went with a woven shade. These are Serena and Lily, and we'll link them in the bio. But I feel like it adds a lot of texture to this space. They're really simple, and they're actually functional because I use them all the time. So this is our primary bathroom. As I mentioned before, this was actually a fourth bedroom that we turned into a bathroom. So I played around with a million different layouts in here, but one thing we had to keep consistent was the window that's already here and it's center in the room. So I didn't, I didn't want to move it. Um, I felt like the best thing to do under that was a bathtub. So I want the bathtub under the window. Over here, our vanity, these are flat front white oak cabinets with a finger pole. And we went with a really chunky six inch mitered countertop. And as you can see, they go down the legs too. I feel like this just makes it look really unique and custom, a little bit modern. Um, and I just love how it turned out. Um, on the floors we did, this is a gray porcelain tiles from Arizona Tile. Did it in a herringbone pattern. I feel like it makes it very like spa-like and neutral and clean. So in the shower, this is the good old Bedrosian's Chloe Tile. I'm sure you've seen it a million times. Just so good, it has that natural variation. We chose to lay it in a straight, vertical straight stack. So it makes it a little bit more modern. Um, and then we went with black hardware throughout. So this is our guest bathroom. Um, this was pretty much the same layout of the original home. We just gave it a little bit of a facelift. So we went with just clean white shaker cabinets. Um, this is a quartz countertop. It's called Concrete Gray Honed from Arizona Tile. It kind of gives that concrete look, but without the maintenance of concrete. Uh, with the flooring, we went with the Allura 3x24 size from Bedrosians. And again, I laid it in a herringbone pattern. I really like the long, unique shape of it. In the shower, we wanted to keep a really cost-effective tile in here. So we just went with a, like, I think it's a five by five subway tile and we laid it in a broken joint. Again, it was super cost-effective. I think we got it from Home Depot, but I feel like it's super clean and timeless. You guys ask us all the time where we get our branches from, our stems. These are olive stems. We literally, we call it neighborhooding. We just go around the neighborhood, find an olive tree that has some growing, growing weeds, you know, no one minds. So we just <laughs> cut a couple. So these are literally from like down the street and they just add so much to the space and they're like a neutral kind of gray green. So they're like our favorite go-to greens. So 
this is our guest bedroom. We don't have guests stay here very often, so it also doubles as my office. As you can see, I have my desk set up and a computer. We work from home on Tuesday, so it's really nice to have like a dedicated space to work from. And then when we occasionally do have guests, we have a nice cozy bed. I feel like with guest bedrooms, you can totally keep it very simple with design. I think your guests just want a nice clean place to stay. So I did a little hat wall over here. I feel like it turned out really cute and I can actually use it for additional hat storage. And I just love how this room turned out. So right off the entry, we have our kind of great room space and we have an all day dining over here and then a little bar. So this actually used to be the kitchen where the bar is. Like the kitchen sink was right underneath where this window is. There used to be a wall going all the way across here. There was this opening and then another wall. So we wanted to knock that all down, make the rooms feel, feel really open. And we actually moved the kitchen to the complete other side of the house. Um, with the all day dining, we don't have a formal dining space. So I feel like this is a really good way to utilize a smaller space, but still seat a lot of people. You probably get like, eight to nine people in here. So when we are entertaining, we use this space a lot. So over here we have our bar. We like to entertain a lot. Um, so this is a really great space to not only house all our alcohol and glassware, but also gives a pretty styling moment. My husband, Brandon, has like a whiskey collection going on here. So he kind of takes over the shelves, but I still got some of my glassware up there, my Elko glassware. And um, I make a really mean margarita. So this is a great little spot for us to have when we're entertaining. So this is our living space. Um, this was pretty much the size of the room originally. We just gave it again a facelift. This had like red walls. I think the tile's like brown. It had a hearth all the way across the whole thing, which made the space feel kind of small and dark. So I feel like removing all the walls helped a lot, add a lot of natural light, but also getting rid of all the dark walls. We painted the walls Benjamin Moore Chantilly Lace. I know you guys are gonna ask. Um, and then with the fireplace, I wanted something that was really cost effective to do, but also looked really clean and modern. So we went with a Roman clay on the fireplace. It's from Portola Paints. I'll have to find the um, color and we can put it in the bio, but me and my mom did this. So you can totally DIY it. Uh, it took us like a whole day, but I think it turned out so good. And I love the texture that it adds. And then of course, I wanted some shelves on either side of the fireplace, pretty much all my shelves are filled with the Lifestyle Co. shop stuff, but um, I wanted a moment where I could give some styling, add a personal touch to the room, and I, I love how this space turned out. So as I mentioned, the space is a little bit smaller for a living space, so we wanted to keep it really intimate and cozy. We went with a neutral colored sectional. There wasn't really room to do two chairs, so we went with this corner chair. It's our CC chair and boucle from the shop. And I love the texture that it adds. That's just like my favorite all time chair. So the ceilings in here are only eight feet. So when picking a light fixture, we had to be really intentional finding a fixture that wouldn't hang too low, but still filled the space really nicely. So I feel like this is always a great light fixture if you two have lower ceilings. Um, it's very, very modern and I feel like it fills the space really nicely. So finally, let me take you to the kitchen. Welcome to the kitchen. As I mentioned previously, our kitchen used to be over on the other side of the house where the bar currently is. It was a really small galley kitchen and we wanted to open it up and make it feel really warm and inviting. So we moved it all the way over here. This used to be another living space. There was two living spaces, which we didn't need. So we moved the kitchen over here. There used to be a big window on this wall, which we closed it off because I wanted the range to be on this wall to be the focal point of the kitchen. We wanted to keep some of the natural light in here. So we added the two windows on either side of the range, which I feel like helps really keep the space really light and bright. 
So when designing the space, I stayed away from a lot of blacks or stark contrast with the hardscape, but I added it in with accessories or hardware. Uh, so in the kitchen on the perimeter, I went with a kind of warm putty color cabinet. It's Benjamin Moore Natural Cream. So I feel like it's a little bit warmer and deeper than a bright white, but it's still very clean and neutral. The island, I did a white rift oak. These are custom. I actually went to Home Depot and got a bunch of stains and did a bunch of mixes and actually came up with the stain myself. I think I ended up with like 50% min wax natural and 50% simply white, just in case you need that. Um, but yeah, I love how it turned out. Our countertops, we did Arizona tile Palmieri, which has some warm veining. Their quartz, which are super durable in the kitchen. I feel like this space just comes together so well. So one of the favorite parts about my kitchen is our appliance garage. So I like to keep the countertops really clean. I don't like a lot of things out on the countertops. So I needed a place for all our appliances, hence the appliance garage. I love this space. We use it all the time. It keeps away all your ugly appliances that you don't want on the countertop. But then when you're entertaining or want to keep it closed, you just go like this and no one even knows it's there. So this is the main reason why we bought this home in the first place is the outdoor area. This was actually all pretty much already here. We had the pools already built. This underground barbecue area was already built. We just gave it a little bit of a facelift. We redid all the decking, redid this barbecue area, added some turf for our dog Brady. And I feel like it just makes the space look totally different. There used to be like a golf putting area over there, which sounds really cool, but it was, it looked really bad. So that had to go. Um, I feel like this is just a great space for entertaining and we use this space all the time, even though it's hot in Arizona, but that's why we have a pool. Thank you guys so much for coming to my home. I've been here for like two years, but I've never shared a picture on social media. I don't know why. Um, so yeah, I just decided to go all out, do a YouTube video. We shot some home decor here earlier. So you're all seeing it for the first time with everyone else. So make sure you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and talk to us in the comments. We always respond. And we will see you on the next one.